Robots are the world's fastest growing technological innovation with the emergence of feminine robots like Sophia. Hi, Sophia. Hello, Jimmy. They serve a variety of purposes, from space exploration to entertainment, and with more positive human qualities. Robotics technology is rapidly evolving, giving us new tools to help us with household chores, vehicle assembly, and a variety of other jobs. Robotic technology has altered the environment around us and will continue to do so in the future. In this video, we're going to talk about the evolution of female robots. But before we begin, everyone who's new to our channel, hello and welcome to Robot Future, where we fill you in on every thrilling discovery and mind-blowing insights in the world of robots, AIs, and future technology. So consider subscribing and hitting the bell notification for a ton of exciting robot content coming your way. Now without further ado, let's get into the video. Our first fembot is a teacher, Shalu. She was made by an Indian developer, Dinesh Patel. This is the world's first female humanoid robot, devoted to the Betty Bakao Betty Padhao mission. Shalu is the first social and educational Indian humanoid robot that can communicate fluently in 47 languages. The capabilities of this first female thans computer science syllabus for class 6. Dinesh Patel was inspired by India's dream mission on Irbar Bharat, as well as the Skill India mission and the Digital India mission. With the use of artificial intelligence and machine learning techniques, the robot Shalu can respond in any language that is in the learn questions in physics, chemistry, mathematics, English, geography, and a variety of other topics. She may lose hands are flexible and can move around to mimic human behaviors and gestures such as shaking hands, cracking jokes, expressing joy, grief, frustration, and other human emotions. People no longer need to rely on the media for weather forecasts since this first female humanoid robot can offer them weather forecasts for the next 10 days in various locations. Shalu will be present to forecast the daily horoscope based on the day of birth if anyone wishes to know. It may also give addresses for a variety of prominent locations as well as movie and gadget reviews. Shalu is well versed in various international nations and their locations. Shalu the robot may be utilized as a teacher, quiz master, receptionist, senior care assistant, and student learning companion. The world's first female humanoid robot can offer practical advice and personal perspectives on the growing number of female harassment cases, national holidays like Women's Day and Republic Day, and how to safeguard Indian girls and women. Well, we're educating these robots to develop on their own so they can adapt to life on the planet and we're making them more human. Next is an actress robot, Erica. Erica is regarded as one of the most attractive and intellectual androids ever created. Erika is transforming Japan's robot culture. Osaka University, the University of Kyoto, and the Advanced Telecommunications Research Institute International collaborated on this advanced humanoid. She was built by a team led by Hiroshi Ishiguro, a professor at Osaka University's Intelligent Robotics Laboratory. Professor Ishiguro created Erika's facial characteristics using sample photographs of 30 gorgeous ladies who reply to inquiries with facial emotions that are startlingly comparable to those of humans. Erika's speech has also improved, as has her ability to understand and reply to inquiries. The humanoid robot will appear in a Hollywood film with a $70 million budget. Additionally, Erika was allegedly trained in the practice of method acting in which an actress strives for deep emotional identification with a role. She would have to rely on the algorithm embedded into her operation to simulate whatever feelings are necessary because she lacks emotions of her own. She will feature in the film B, which is sponsored by Bondit Media Capital, which has previously backed films such as the Oscar-nominated Loving Vincent. According to The Hollywood Reporter, the film is about a scientist who discovers problems related to a program he developed to perfect human DNA and helps Erica, the artificially intelligent woman he made, escape. Eric Pham, Tarek Zodi, and Sam Cozy created the narrative. In other methods of acting, actors involve their own life experiences in the role, Cozy argues, as stated by Hollywood Reporter. But Erica has no life experiences. She was created from scratch to play the role. We had to simulate her motions and emotions through one-on-one -on -one sessions such as controlling the speed of her movement, talking through her feelings, and coaching character development and body language. In China and Japan, the robot has previously been deployed to broadcast news. The next Fembot is the first robot ever to enroll in and complete a college-level class, a philosophy course at Notre Dame de Namur University in California. She's named Bina 48, Breakthrough Intelligence via Neural Architecture 48. Bina 48 is one of the world's most sophisticated social robots. 
Bina Rothblatt, who is married to technology entrepreneur Martine Rothblatt, is her mental and physical inspiration. Since its creation in 2010, the robot has received a great deal of media attention, and it has been dubbed the world's most sensational robot. Hanson Robotics designed the sophisticated robot, which is managed by Rothblatt's TerraSem Movement Foundation. Bina48 is a participant in the Life Not Project, an artificial intelligence and cyber consciousness project. Bina48 interacts with people using artificial intelligence based on Bina Rothblatt's memories, attitudes, beliefs, and actions. In addition, her memory can be supplemented by data obtained from the internet or other sources. She has a moving face, seeing eyes, hearing ears, and a digital memory that enables her to communicate with her. Let's move on to Alter. Alter, dubbed the creepiest of all robots ever created, was revealed by the Japanese Science Museum on July 29, 2016. Alter is based on embedded neural networks, which means that it generates its movements and favors motion above appearance. The University of Tokyo and Osaka University were also involved in its development. This android can sense closeness, temperature, and humidity, as well as sing in response to hand motions. Although its motions don't quite match those of people, they do give the impression and a peculiar sense that the robot is alive. Alter is a project that aims to bridge the gap between programming a robot to move and letting it move on its own. Let's proceed to Sophia. Sophia is possibly the most popular female robot in the world right now. Sophia was created by Hanson Robotics in Hong Kong in 2016. It can show more than 50 different facial emotions. Sophia became the first robot to be granted citizenship by a country, Saudi Arabia, in October 2017. Sophia was appointed the United Nations Development Program's first ever innovation champion in November 2017, making her the first non-human to receive any UN title. Sophia is based on Audrey Hepburn, an actress. Sophia was created by Hansen to be a friend for the elderly in nursing homes or to assist crowds at huge events or parks. Next is Jia Jia. Jia Jia is China's first humanoid robot, Jia Jia. It was created by a team of engineers from China's University of Science and Technology and debuted in 2016. In Chinese restaurants, hospitals, nursing homes, and families, AI robots like Jia Jia will begin doing a variety of basic activities. Jia Jia can correctly answer weather inquiries, carry on a simple and basic conversation, and identify the genders of others with whom she interacts. Jia Jia took three years to develop to ensure that her lips move as she speaks and that her eyes organically look about the room. Jia Jia can make tiny facial expressions because of this. Our next fembot is Ada. Ada is the first humanoid AI artist in the world. Engineered Arts, a British robotics firm, created it. It is the first robot artist to sketch without the need of a human. She sketches and paints from sight, using a microchip in her eye and a pencil in her robotic hand, which has never been done before in AI. AI robotic Daz sketching technology was created for Aidan Meller's gallery in Oxford and was developed at the University of Leeds. Ada has a robothespian body that can do a variety of actions as well as converse and answer queries. Silicone skin, 3D printed teeth, and gums, integrated eye cameras, and individually punched hair make up her face. She uses an integrated camera to create portraits and works in a variety of media, including paper and cards. Let's move on to the robot who works in customer service, Nadine. Professor Nadia Manganat Thalman is the inspiration behind Nadine, a social robot. With her powerful human-like features, natural-looking skin, hair, and lifelike hands, Nadine is one of a kind. It's a socially intelligent robot that greets you, establishes eye contact, and remembers everything you've said to it. Depending on the substance of the interaction with the user, it may answer questions autonomously in different languages and imitate emotions through gestures and facial expressions. It was built in 2013 by Kokoro in Japan, with software developed by Nanyang Technological University in Singapore. Nadine is currently employed as a customer service representative at AIA Insurance Company in Singapore. And that's all for today's episode. We hope you enjoy our today's episode. What do you think about these female robots? How will the female robots affect our future if they keep on evolving? Do you think they will replace doctors, programmers, and other professionals? Let us know in the comment section. And please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell for more robot-related content. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.